Keep watching Charis TV. Psalm 37. This is a psalm you know very well. Isn't psalm 37. From verse 1. Do not worry because of evil doers, nor be envious or envy towards wrongdoers, for they will wither quickly like the grass and fade like the green herb. Trust, rely on, and have confidence in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land, dwell in the land and feed securely on his faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires and the petitions of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do it. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Just write commitment. I don't know. We have. Commitment. That's what we, we have. Why I want to talk about commitment? Why can you go like a We have. Because if you look at verse one, there are two people that have been mentioned. They are evil doers. And wrong doers. They are evil doers and wrong doers. Many times you are going to see evil doers and wrong doers succeeding. You are going to see them being successful. Soon you will be affected because of, of their victories. So that's why the Bible says, do that's not why worry. Why are you going to worry? Why you will Because your worry will affect your commitment. The moment you start to worry, your commitment will go down. Remember, you commit yourself to the one you know. If you read this other verse, verse 3, it says, Trust, Trust, rely on and have confidence in the Lord and do good. So carry on trusting and do good. In other words, if you start to worry, your confidence in the Lord is affected. Your commitment will be short-circuited. The Bible shows that if you want to make it with your commitment, verse 4, just delight yourself in the Lord. Reach a level where you are happy where there is nothing to be happy of. The Bible says delight yourself in the Lord. Not because of the business. Not because of the progress. Delight yourself. And he will give you the desires. In other words, the desires are ahead of your happiness in the Lord. You cannot reach your desires before you delight yourself in the Lord. I don't know if you are hearing that. If you want to commit yourself, 
do everything with happiness. Commit yourself. Delight yourself in the Lord. Before you reach your destiny. On the journey you are going to be affected. When you are being affected. Challenged. Challenged. Just delight yourself. Because after all. There's victory that is waiting. Verse 5 is what I'm talking Verse five about. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him. He will do it. You know this verse is telling us that if we commit ourselves in the Lord, He also will commit something to us. How you receive things from God is how far you are committed. You know, you cannot trust God and you find that you will find yourself wanting. Look at that verse 5. Commit your way of doing things. How do you do your things? By delighting yourself in the When you know you have commitment, what you are doing, you have pressure, you have challenges, but you still enjoy yourself in the Lord. But verse 5 says, the way you do it of being of delighting in the Lord, just commit those ways. The ways that the Bible says follow. Enjoy them. That is commitment for you. And the Bible says, trust in Him also. In other words, there is no commitment without trust. There is no commitment without trust. There is no trust without commitment. This they work together. If you want to be a Christian, check your trust. We will tell you your commitment. If you check your trust, how far you trust is it? Is how far you are committed. We need to understand this. That the Bible shows that it won't be easy. That's what the Bible says. Delight yourself. Delight yourself. In other words, there's nothing to make yourself happy. Tell him there's nothing that will make yourself happy. Tell him there's nothing that will make yourself happy. Make yourself happy in the Lord. Make yourself happy in the Lord. If you are not happy in the Lord, Make yourself happy in the Lord. You know one of our mistakes is we want God to give us things. Things the way the, the people who don't fear God again. The wrongdoers. We, we want to receive things that way. I want to tell you that it's how far you commit yourself. It's where you'll be entrusted. Your commitment makes God to entrust you with something that you need in life. The reasons why you have limitations somewhere, somewhere, somewhere your commitment is affected. I want you to check your commitment because that's where you will be entrusted. When God wants to give you things he won't look at people around you. He will look at yourself. How far you are committed committed to him. Your ways of doing things must not be affected when you see that you are not receiving. Let me just try to tell you some things that will make you to understand. There is no commitment without dedication. 
your your dedication need your focus can you tell me there's no commitment without dedication your dedication demand your focus if you live by looking at other people you are bound to lose your focus many people are copying other people and they don't know where are they supposed to be committed what i want to tell you is i've seen on relationships relationship Many people they enter relationships. But we want to be able to make sure that we are getting the right relationship. Not understanding that relationship demand commitment. But I say we are to be able to make sure that we are getting the right. The reasons why commitment is needed because of relationship. To be able to make sure that we are getting the right relationship. The moment when you have got relationship with God, commitment is needed. I want to make sure that we are getting the right relationship. I saw many young people in charisie. They start to be in relationship because of certain things. And I began to question if those things can die off. What will happen to their commitment? Because your commitment is measured when things are tough. You have to follow God when things are not there. In the process of difficulties, that's where commitment is demanded. I've seen some young people here. Sometimes I even laugh at them. And I said, the person is loving this woman. She have got three children. But because she have got a car and a house. You are not looking at the three children. Can you see this commitment? It makes you know you look only on what you need. Not on the challenges that you go through when things go down. And I said, what if the person entered this relationship and get married and from there the house and the car disappeared. You know what will happen? The responsibility of him will be demanded. Because many people they want to enter in a commitment where responsibility is not required. You are hearing what I'm going to say. You enter commitment without looking that you are going to be responsible. Now, when now this lady is no longer working, losing a job, losing a house, she really will start to say, Papa, I want bread now. Hey, Papa, I want bread now. So what you are running away of will start to search for you. So what you are running away of will start to search for you. So what you are running away of will start to search for you. So what you are running away of will start to search for you. So what you are running away of so commitment will also demand responsibility. What is commitment? It's decisions that you made in advance irrespective of any circumstance. That's the meaning of commitment. Decisions that you made in advance irrespective of any circumstances. You, when you take a decision here, you are not looking at what will happen in the tomorrow. I understand why Jesus said something. Which I'm about to tell you. Do you know that in scriptures, Jesus one day, he spoke something very difficult. He said, uh, 
Come and eat me. Etang lejenna. Come and drink my blood. Etang lejenna madiaka. Because remember. Opalang. They were following him because of the miracle of a bread. So when they realized that what they want is a miracle. He said, eat me. And you drink me now. They look at him and say, this man is crazy. And the Bible says they went away. And Jesus looked at the twelve. And I said, what about you? Follow them. We can start again. I can start again. Why you people, you are still here? He took only Peter. And I said, where shall we go? Where shall we go? Because when you are following in commitment, hopes doesn't matter. Don't look at what you receive. Do you know why you people are under challenge now? You are, you are following Christ looking at something. When that thing is not happening, your commitment will be affected. You know, I've seen many people that they are here in this church today. They join to be members three years. It takes only two or three years for you to pass your commitment. Check yourself. You are in this assembly of God. You are in this fire ministry. Check yourself. Two or three years. There are many people who are turning around. Failing to commit themselves. When they reach the ministry, their expectations are not existing. I pray that today you follow Jesus without expectation. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you believe, say amen. How many of you want to follow Jesus without any expectation? If he doesn't bless you, you will follow him. If he doesn't give you what you are, I will follow him. God bless you. Clap my I want to show you something. In the book of Genesis 22. Let's read verse 1. Only. Genesis 22. When I'm looking at you, I'm just saying, oh my God. God must help us today. Check that verse 1. Verse number 1. Now after these things, God tested the faith and commit, commitment of Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he answered, Here I am. Carry on, verse 2. God said, Take now your son, your only son of promise, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region <laughs> of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. You know, I'm laughing because of two things there. That God said, I, I, I have given this man a blessing. Remember, Abraham was old. And the blessing came in, I mean, in his old age. There are two things that God knows there. That he said. He said, Abraham. Number one, take your only son. Can you hear that test? <laughs> why, why God did he say? Because, you know, there was another one called Ishmael. Why Abraham was having two children. Abraham. He was having two children. But this Isaac 
was a child of promise. <laughs> he was a child of prophecy. <laughs> Now, a child of prophecy must be burned. This was like a confusion. Take your only son. And now he said, number two, the one you love. It shows that, you know, Abraham was not loving Ishmael. I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. Take your own. Number two, the one you love. And the Bible says, I was cheeky. God was cheeky. Abraham. Abraham's commitment. In other words, Abraham could still say, God, there is another one I hate. Why don't you take that one? There are some reasons that Abraham could give that can make God to say, this man is happy about a blessing and is forgetting me. Because what God wanted here was Abraham, don't forget me. Even if I give you what you love, even when it is the only thing, you don't need to change your commitment when I demand that. There are things that sometimes when it is the only one when it will leave you, you will begin to say, where is God? I mean, God, how can you leave me? Have you ever been in a marriage where you, you will say, we, 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 we really love each other? And one day when you are in honeymoon, <laughs> in, in, in Cape Town, in a sea point, 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 and you begin to, to hear your husband say, I didn't know you were stupid. Yo, la tomo to amu tuwa wale nari wale na muli kanwa next Saturday we rose tired na kamu ko. I didn't even know you were stupid. Next Saturday we rose tired. Tired like we like a cottage. And the husband, when he said this, he doesn't know that the wife also. She's having her own spirits. And the, the wife says, even me, I didn't know. You are so ugly like this. I don't know why I put, I don't know why I put myself in this. Year. All along, you will say, I love you. You are beautiful, you are everything. Now you are two. You are, you are under a test of what you, you And they began to pray each other. Because you know, one, one man, I was speaking with another man. He said, He said to me, He doesn't understand why. Why people fight. Why people fight. So I told him the reasons why people Can fight. I tell you why? Eh? The friends, why they fight, why people fight. Why Because people are like mountains. They are, like, they are so beautiful when they are fighting. When you reach close, they are scorpions. Ah. In baboons are there. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I can't take it. You know, look at that beautiful man. Sometimes you, you, you even take a selfie, isn't it? With the mountain that you don't know. Go to the mountain. Your energy of climbing it is needed. There are things that are needed. On what you think is beautiful. There are things you will find. That you will be challenged. If you are hearing him say hearing. So Abraham when he was looking at Isaac. He was just saying, truly the boy looks like me. 
This is what God has promised. Do you know that to Abraham was a testimony? People were laughing at him. Now Isaac has come. This is the promise. Do you know that to Abraham was a testimony? The reasons why it was supposed to be very difficult for Abraham to obey was because everybody knew what was happening to Abraham. Listen, when God told Abraham to leave your family, it was not because of any reason. The family were starting to talk. Say, Abraham, how many years are you? Look at your wife. No child. God said, no, here. I want to prove them. That I'm with this man. But if he's here, you will worship their God. So it's better I tell him to go away. And when he's there, there will be a blessing like Isaac. But now Isaac has come now. What is happening now? Sacrifice. Your only son. I want to check your commitment. Okay, also. Okay, the one you love. Abraham said, Hey, it's God. I must obey. Listen to this. If your commitment. How are you? Really make you not to disobey God. That commitment doesn't exist. Your commitment will make you to obey God to the core. Tell everybody, your commitment will bring obedience. I'm not surprised that sometimes when God wake you up to pray, it's difficult. In other words, commitment began to open your spiritual ears. When you're committed, when you hear God, wake up and pray. Can you see your obedience? It shows you are hearing something. You do what you are hearing. It's only commitment that ushers you to the hearing, to the hearing of God's voice. How many of you are here what I'm trying to say? If you are committed, when God speaks, you will do it. You will do it to the core. Even when it's difficult. If you are here, say I am here. Look at John 15. From verse 12. I've got many verses to give you. I, I, I feel like to stop. But, but we need to carry on. Verse 12. This is my commandment to, to 15. This is my commandment that you love and unselfishly seek the best for one another, mm -hmm. just as I have loved you. No one has greater love, no stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friends. You are my friends if you keep on doing what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer. For the servant does not know what his master is doing. Mm. But I have called you my friends because I have revealed to you everything that I have heard from my father. Did you hear that? I was telling you that commitments open your spiritual ears. Because here Jesus said, I'm no longer calling you servants. You're friends. Because I reveal things to you. I reveal things to you. But there's a verse I want us to look at. Look at verse 12. This is my commandment. 
that you love and unselfish or le na le ratsa me go sina melwana le nyakele tsa di botse le dielo mongwe just as i have loved you tsala ka ga nna ke le ratile jesus spoke about himself verse 13 tsala ka yena mola verse 13 no one has greater love a go mo thara le ratile le golo no stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for you tsala mo thaba be bophelo ba ga e fase a di yena motho mongwe jesus was teaching them commitment here jesus na ba ruta go ikhasa you guys le na we understand commitment kwishi shane taba ya we khafa i have come to lay down na kitile mo abe ya bophelo jwa ka fase you know it was not easy for jesus na isi bonolo taba ya umara na jesus it was not easy i'm telling you bonolo i want to tell you why i say it was ya gole bontjo re wa ikere ya i bonolo this commitment we khafa go amara na jesus was very challenging na ino ba challenge e kholo can i tell you ke le thalosetse Remember the Bible said Jesus knew everyone. You know when he was going around he just said you follow me. And he told you follow me. Remember he the creator you cannot deny that. Ah ukase gana ke mothodi hore ka se gana tabe. So now jwa no ntabashi. Is with people he knew. Une batho ba ba tsebang. So when he was looking at them. Tsano ha ba lebeletse. He began to remember that he was here. A thoma go polo rena ke le mmo. because of the commitment he was given for the bank. He said, this is my commandment. My commandment is to come here and lay down my bank. So if truly you are committed. You don't need anybody's favor. You don't need to be beaten at the back. Ali to go pete wa ka mo morao ba re hudi ya tsona. To lay down my life. O be ya bophelo jwa ka fatsi. And now you can do the same. Tsona le le na le ka tala di ya jwalo. Understand commitment is to do the same. O di ya ka mo go nna mo rena ke dileng. You love others more than yourself. Wa rata ba ba nwe go fitisha wena. You seek the best for others than of yourself. You know commitment does what which I want to tell you. It makes you to know your own assignment. Because you, you understand that you cannot just get that things to yourself. And you know what will come. And you, you know what you will receive. You know what God has promised which he will do. So your focus won't be yourself, will be others. That's why Jesus was saying, I'm here to die for you. That's my commitment. I know your weakness. I know that you reject me. I know you do this, but I'm here to be here to die for you. And now, whatever you can do against me, lie against one change. What I'm here for. Because I know myself. I'm here for myself. And my God, the only person I obey is God. So therefore, you cannot change. You cannot change what I believe in. You cannot change what I believe in. If you just hear, I mean, What Jesus spoke about. Ha le ka tsheletsa la twa taba tshe di bolelwang ke morena Jesus. Judas when he was coming. Judas ha eta mola go yena to arrest him. Ba ta go mo swara. Jesus says, "Here comes my friend." Shu we mo khotsi ya ka o eta. If it was you. Nka ba ile le na. And you get the revelation of Judas. Ha le tshotsi kutollo ra ha pe Judas o to diang. You will say I cast you. I cast you. You are going to hell. Jesus said, "There comes my friend." And Judas came and kissed him. And kissed him. He agreed the kiss. If it was you, you would clap him. And Judas came and kissed 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 him. Let's be honest with you. Someone is kissing you. Can you just come here? Thank you. Act like you want to kiss me. What you are going to bring is your head. Bring your head. How can 
You leave someone who's coming. You see this was a challenge. Ndrene li challenge. Commitment. Ya we hafa gae. This was a serious temptation. Taba ye ne li tikwe ngwe koti kudu. Okay, read John 10. Are you mula ho Johanne chapter 10? Maybe you will understand what I'm. Mato mwe re tewi kwishi shate ba ye. Jesus. Johanne chapter 10. Yes. Let's read for 38. Let's listen. Let's listen to this commitment. But if I am doing them, even if you do not believe me or have faith in me, at least believe the works that I do, admit that they are the works of God. Carry on reading. So that you may know and keep on knowing clearly without any doubt that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. That is, I am one with him. So they tried again to seize him, but he eluded their grabs. grabs. He went back again across the Jordan to the place where John was first baptizing and he was staying there. Stop there. Jesus had many enemies. And also he had opportunities to, to demonstrate his power. He had opportunity to demonstrate his power. To prove his enemies. He had no time to prove anyone wrong. He explained and said, you see, me am here for my commitment. If you are coming with your stories, you are wasting your time. When he was busy preaching to them, says, why you don't believe in me? If you can't believe, believe in the miracle. And the Bible says they try to seize him. And the Spirit of God takes him away from him. Because he knew how he's going to die. Not with stones. Not with stones. They have to be crucified. I don't know if you're hearing me. Can I tell you this? If they might have stoned Jesus, Jesus could not be Jesus. If they might have stoned him, he could not be Jesus. I will tell you why. Because he have to die a death of a criminal. Not a death of the people that they have accused. Jesus knew the death he is supposed to go through. He knew that they have to accuse, but he must not respond. He must not fight back. When they accuse, he escapes. When they accuse him, he escapes. He doesn't want to be part of the accusation. He open up his heart to tell them, oh, Jesus believes I'm Messiah. If you don't believe, believe the miracles. If he have to be stoned, it means he died because people accuse him. But he have to be found guilty. Because accusers might be wrong. They must find him guilty. And the guilty was what Pilate wrote. Jesus, the king of Jews. The guilty. Jesus, king of Jews. But what I'm trying to say is commitment 
when you are being accused you won't run away from accusation but you won't be part of accusation when you are accused when you are committed you won't run away from accusation but you will never be part of don't allow any accusation to affect your commitment. Carry on when it's tough. Carry on when there's no way. Because whatever you are doing, the devil wants you to stop. He will bring accusation. If you are here, you say, I hear. I think I, I want to finish because let me give it another verse maybe with Luke 18 18 1 to 8 commitment is not different with persistent faith consistent faith consistent faith can you just, just read now Jesus was telling the disciples a parable to make the point that at all times they ought to pray and not give up and lose heart saying in a certain city there was a judge who did not fear God and had no respect for men there was a disparate widow in that city and she kept coming to him and saying Give me justice and legal protection from my adversary. For a time he would not. But later he said to himself, even though I do not fear God nor respect men, yet because the widow continued to bother me, I will give her justice and legal protection. Otherwise, by continually coming, she will be an intolerable annoyance and she will wear me out. Then the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not our just God defend and avenge his elect, his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay in providing justice on their behalf? I tell you that he will defend and avenge them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find the kind of persistent faith on earth? One time, uh, it's a long time, when we start ministry, I can't forget that time. You know, there was a time where things were difficult for three years. I knew what was the test. It becomes easy when you know. I began to stay in fasting. And began to enjoy when I don't have food then. But having food. And when time was going, I began to tell my wife, I said, Mama, what is important now is not the things of this world. We need to be ready to go to heaven. Because even if we acquire all, one day we will die here and leave these things here. Let's hold on and carry on without looking what we get. You're not to my surprise. When we start to do that, our situation began to change. Sometimes when the Bible says now, the Bible seek the kingdom or shall we don't understand it. It. If you reach a level where you don't you say, I don't want anything I want. All will follow you. But if you begin to search for things, they will never come your way. I don't know if you're hearing me. This is the time that when things are not working your way, don't look at what is happening. 
happened. You see, the Bible says this woman went to the judge and said, Hey, fight for me. Fight for me. But now, look what Jesus said. He says, The judge began to be like in, in a right mind. This woman will make me tired. This woman, she's coming all the time. It's better we give her this Let's give her what she wants. Otherwise, she will make a choice. Let me give an example by Cornelius. Go and read about Acts 10. Chapter 10. From verse 1 there. From verse 1. The Bible says, Bible Cornelius always was giving. Always praying. To extend that heaven began to talk about him. All that he was doing. You know, rich memorial before. And they say, what must we do? <laughs> we can't stop this. Because say, I'm sending an angel, go. Go and meet this man. Go and tell him this. There's a servant somewhere. That servant must come here. And the church must start. Peter will come. Holy Spirit followed him. And Peter left. The church continued. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to this. If we carry on with our commitment, we are like we are losing. We are like there's no way out. But let's do it until it reaches God. Let's do it until it reaches God. When it reaches God, God will respond. God will respond. God is aware. You know, if you read Luke 9.62, Luke 9, it says that he who put a plow yeah, and look back is not fit for ah, the Because there are many challenges when we are busy for busy, busy, dedicated. There will be a challenge to make it to look back. So if you carry on, it's tough you carry on. You will finish the race. You will be answered. I don't know if you are hearing me. How many of you want to be committed? Some of you have stopped what you were doing before. Come back, back again. As long as you are still alive, you are not too late. You can still show the process of victory. Come back again and do it again. How can you stop because of a problem? Do you know why you have problems? To stop you. Can I give you this? Can you see mama? Can you see this lady come? Can you see? Stand here. What is your name sister? Matapele. Huh? Matapele. Can you see Matapele here? Can you see mama here? Can you see mama here? Can you see mama here? Me, I'm close to mama. I'm not close to Matapele. I'm not close to Matapele. I don't know where Matapelo comes from. So Satan will never use Matapelo. Because my commitment won't be affected. It has to be tested on the side of the person I know. I don't know if you're hearing me. Matapelo can do whatever. We don't know each other. We are not friends. I don't even know where she I comes from. But Mama, I know. If she can just say, 
I'm feeling why she did that. Now my prayer began to be affected. Satan is looking around. Satan is looking around. Satan is looking around. There are people around you. He will use them because he wants to stop you somewhere. Go back and do it again. God bless you. Ask your neighbor, what is it that has affected your commitment to your God? To your God. Sometimes, uh, you know, this is very good, but I read from the scripture. Uh, sometimes, when you are in the church, when God wants to speak with you, you know, He wants to speak with you. You are following me, your pastor, and you are serious. And you are serious. If you are very serious. If only serious can it can it. God will reveal me. Mudimu ta utul la onna. Eh? Ah. When God began to reveal that. Ha mudimu ato to mo utul la. I've got a scandal. Una li ta ba chamu na o. I'm a liar. Una li maka na mo. I'm an adulterer. Una li chamu o chwa na mo. You are being checked. Wa na jono wa tholo. Remember that you were serious. You were focused. Now you begin to say ha. So now we begin to say ha. So now we begin to say ha. No. So he was Honey. preaching to us. What is it? And then you can see it's not serious. Eh, come more serious. I mean, even you, you were not serious. Lily, no, no, this is serious. If you were serious, how come only serious? You will carry on doing. What that child appeal would be? Come on, hold it. Say, I cannot be stopped because of this. You know, there are many people today. Let's say one of them. When they just hear that their pastor did one, two, three. Eh, Moruti, I tell you, say, listen, listen. God was speaking with you. He was serious. Now he has revealed this man to you that he's not a serious man. Turn back now. Follow God again to another church. Go to another church and be serious there. You know, some of you, your commitment was affected because of the man of God. You realize this man of God, oh, I used to think, oh, no, don't worry. What you were thinking, you were right. Because your commitment was right. So now carry on with the same commitment somewhere. But if you begin to say, Churches are like that. Ah, the kerekeka ufela di na baka mukwa. And you come and sit here, say. What about you, Lamore? Ish. Leo, na murutu wakawa na Leo. Ah, even this one can be exactly the same as others. Murutu waki mulebelela. Ah, this pastor, when I look at him, ah, akawa na Leo. Maybe he might be having. What's his girlfriend? Yeah, murutu kima. Like actually, when we look at. Who is now, his when I'm preaching, when I'm not getting carried away, you are looking at where I'm looking. We check out the morotu balebele che kudu kudu guy. You are also looking at the people that are. Balebele che kapele ba atu. We say morotu mola ukari. There is like. Morotu onali matata nyama. Morotu has got a problem there. What about your commitment? But you know we have to go and fill the guy. When you lose commitment, you must judge. We have to go. You know we no do lawa atulwa. Today come back to God. Lekhona ngere wele more neng. Do it again. Rise up again. I know your commitment is made. I know from here that Satan you fought too many years and it's like he was defeating you. Today you will conquer him. You are more than the conqueror.